टॉक अबाउट सर्टेन न्यू ड्रग्स फॉर ब्लड डिसऑर्डर्स एंड अदर मिसेलिनियस न्यू ड्रग सो फर्स्ट अ न्यू ड्रग फॉर हिमोफीलिया ए सो बेटा यू ऑल नो दैट हिमोफीलिया ए देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद विच फैक्टर देर इज अ डेफिशियंसी ऑफ फैक्टर एट है ना एग्रीड नाउ वी हैव अ ड्रग एमिकी जूमैप Now what is amikizumab? You can see E word is coming, so you will write amikizumab is a factor eight. Remember E for eight. Amikizumab is a factor eight monoclonal antibody, and you can see it is not factor eight. It is not factor eight. You can see a word mik word is coming. Mik word is coming. It is a factor eight mimicker. it is a factor 8 mimicker that means this monoclonal antibody mimics which clotting factor it mimics factor 8 to imikizumab 8 mimicker and when 8 factor how it mimics factor 8 it increase the binding of it increase the binding of factor 9 with factor 10 because all clotting factor they increase each other activity factor 8 increase the binding of factor 9 with 10 so imikizumab is a monoclonal antibody which mimics factor 8 and increase the binding of factor 9 and 10 together remember it is a very good drug for hemophilia a agree till now for the treatment of hemophilia a we were giving recombinant factor 8 from outside for the treatment of hemophilia a we were giving factor 8 from outside problem with factor 8 was it was a very short acting drug you have to give multiple transfusion but when we make imikizumab it's a very long acting drug you don't have to give again and again recurrent transfusions of factor 8 another drug we have is fitusiran so again beta can you see fitusiran S I ran word is coming, so it should be what it should be. It is small interfering RNA. It is a small interfering RNA, yeah S I RNA, and this I RNA inhibits the activity of antithrombin. It inhibits the factor activity of antithrombin. Remember, normally antithrombin inhibits factor nine and ten. normally antithrombin inhibits or reduce the activity of factor 9 and 10 so if we inhibit antithrombin can we say now the activity of factor 9 and 10 will be increased which will be beneficial in hemophilia another new drug recently got approved is concizumab concizumab is a monoclonal antibody which inhibit which inhibit anti tissue factor it inhibit anti tissue factor so if you inhibit anti tissue factor again the activity of factor 9 and 10 clotting factor will be increased and they are beneficial in hemophilia a so these are the three new drugs you have to remember in hemophilia a i think